After realizing that that new 6K footage has your laptop sounding like a jet engine and your timeline looking like a slideshow, it's probably a good idea to implement proxies. There are a ton of ways to make proxies. Today we're going to be focusing on the little app that was installed when you installed DaVinci Resolve called the Blackmagic Proxy Generator. A tiny app that quietly watches your folders like a loyal dog converting your footage behind the scenes. So if you've never explored this idea of using proxies, let's explain. Proxies are a low resolution, lightweight version of your original footage. Editing with proxies typically means smoother playback, faster scrubbing, and a timeline that doesn't lag. And the best part, if you execute the proxy workflow correctly, this means no compromises on your export quality. DaVinci Resolve will automatically swap back to the camera originals when it's time to render. So once you have the program opened up, there's not really much to see here. Below watch folder, we're gonna click on add. Pick the folders that have our footage in it. Now there really aren't a lot of other settings as you can see, so select a proxy format. Now the only other thing we need to do is click start. All proxies get placed in a proxy folder. DaVinci Resolve knows how to deal with these proxy folders. So in theory, we should never have to deal with relinking and this should be drama free. So now let's start up DaVinci Resolve. And now we can bring in some of that media that has a proxy. What you'll see is that we have this new icon down here. So if we go to the drop down up here for playback, switch this to preferred proxies as that's going to be your default for speed. On the viewer, you can click the little drop down and you can switch between it there as well. If you're too cool for the proxy generator or need additional options, we can actually make them in DaVinci Resolve. And let me quickly show you that workflow. Let's click on the project settings gear and then in the master settings, let's scroll down to optimize media and render cache. In here, we have the options to set our proxy resolution as well as our proxy format. As you can see, there's quite a few options here. Once you're happy, we can click save. And now opening up the media pool, we can highlight and select all of the media we want proxies, right click on it, and then go down to generate proxy media. One thing to be mindful, unlike the proxy generator, we will have to wait for the proxies to be completed as it will hold up DaVinci Resolve. But for 90% of the time, just use the proxy generator. It's automatic, works in the background, and it's just not a headache. You don't have to think about anything. It's super easy to set up. One little quick tip to leave you here for power users that send rough cuts to clients. On the deliver page, once you go down to advanced settings, there's an option to use proxy media. So yeah, use proxies. They make your edits buttery smooth. Keep your sanity intact and let your computer live another day. So there you have it, the DaVinci Resolve proxy workflow in three minutes. If you'd like to see more short videos like this one, hit the like button.